Okay, the NRXP October 14th, 2021. You gotta be real careful with this one, the old dip and rip. I'm not a huge fan of the dip and rip. Um, it's just hard to get a good entry signal on it. Uh, you know, where do you take it? Before the like, before the VWAP, after the VWAP, into the VWAP, do we measure like going up to the VWAP? You can go like this, you know, like there's 3% there that you have to be kind of leery about. We've got more volume coming in right now. Uh, it could rotate, the volume could rotate. Look at how it's rotating into negative pressure here. Big time. Um, look at that, look at it grow. Look at that volume bar grow. Look at it. But, it didn't really shake out that much also. You gotta remember that, look at that. And that makes our average volume go up. Okay, uh, there's the trade. Take an entry here. Stop uh, entry at $11.92. Stop at $11.64. Take profit of $15.50. That's where we've got our target. So this will be a tremendous play when it works. Um, and a quick loss when it loses, right? Like that's that's what we're looking for. That's the combination. Well, there's the entry, and then the um, looks like epic battle here again at the VWAP. How typical. Um, ba -ba 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 -da 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 -da. What's this one look like? See, look at that. See the detail I can get there. It's so much better. I don't know if you guys can see it. The detail, I believe the detail is what makes the difference here. Uh, look at this flag building. Perfect. Great out view up. If this breaks, we're going to be cooking with, with, with barbecue starter. Uh, just remember, the longer this hangs around here, <clears throat> the harder things get. And not like I was going to change anything, but the epic problems of uh, of a trader when your mouse batteries go dead in the middle of a setup here. <laughs> uh, that's just, it's awesome. Always got to have extra batteries kicking around, boys, girls. Well, fuck. I knew that was VWAP. You know, see that when the VWAP has that control right like it's <clears throat> and then if you if you look at the flag here right once it didn't want to break once that flag didn't want to break so again more patience maybe it goes again so the question the real good question is do you attack this again do you attack this again sucker for punishment we're gonna go again i guess I don't know if this is going to work, but it's a tough call, right? We'll see if the order, there it goes, it entered right there. The shitty part was the last time we had a really good entry, we didn't take the profit off. It was like a hundred or whatever dollars there. And you, you, I don't know, being over nimble can be the same as being under nimble. Like you can kick yourself out of a trade a little too early. Taking a little bit of profit, and as of lately, though this this hasn't this market hasn't been working very well for me. That's for sure. There it is, running into the VWAP again, having trouble. <clears throat> Jumping, but the volume's increasing. See that? That's uh, that might help. A little calm before the storm here. In the VWAP, it's at twelve dollars and fifteen cents. Our current price is uh, twelve dollars and ten cents. Eight cent. So again, we just got to be real mindful of this, uh, you know, uh, high of day in the um, in the regular hours here. We got to be mindful of that, and then we got to be mindful of the pre-market high of day. Uh, it seems to be wanting to sell here for a second here. It could be a little bit. Look at that volume coming in. We've got. Five seconds to go here. 
Hopefully this next one can push. That's a good sign when this closes like this, then we can get a push, yeah. Yeah, I guess a good question now is <laughs> how tight do we chase this stop up, right? We're into the money here. Um, yeah, this is a big trade if it works, like big value. Well, let's put it into perspective. It's a big value for uh, my trading. Yeah, we're looking at a 29% if we make it all the way to target. So 14 and a half if we make it to the pre-market high. Ideally, we'll take support off of this um, regular hours high here. You know, but again, like you would have been up, say, about one or 200 the first time around. We take this off now. Could be up another one or 200. Like, I don't know. The money is there. It's actually how you snatch it. it it's so difficult to snatch it correctly. So, yeah, like uh, we just crushed the float there. We didn't crush the float. We just passed the float on uh, daily volume there. Uh, so, we have one time float rotation here. So, 20, 40, 60, 80. You know, 20, 40, 60, 80. You know, 120 maybe we could see at the end of the day here. 120 million. Well, I'll pull back to the VWAP. And hold support that'll do too maybe we'll save that uh regular hours uh high a day there we'll save that one for a little bit later okay so that was a pretty good push yeah so i just moved that stop up this is just an arbitrary uh it doesn't really have to be anything special it's a 60 dollar 64 dollar win that really has nothing to do with it either the point is that if, if this thing goes sideways really quickly, you just, you know what I mean? Like you just need something there to protect so that your position, you know, stays a win and not a loss. Like you could take it right at take even, but I'm suggesting that if it, when it's really ripping down and if it's having a real, it'll just blow right through there and you will be looking at a, a loss, right? So we need to set it above. Um, now that we're almost 10% up, we need to, uh, yeah, it's just like I'm, it doesn't matter where it is really, as long as it's kind of in, uh, you know, if it comes like I don't even suggest you take it all the way back to here. If you can catch this before it comes back, say this is the top, and you can catch it here at the four uh, twelve fifties or something like that, then you're like, yeah, that's close enough. I would probably say take that money, right? But this is just in case we have this crazy hammer fist drop. That's all this is there for. And so it came ripping back to the VWAP. Sometimes the five minute candles give you a little bit of a look. <clears throat> There's the uh, two day, three day move here. Yeah, so eventually you start to look at it. And you start to look at it and you're like, well, you know, why didn't you take that first push? You know, you got this target up there. This elusive target that you think that's so... I don't know, that's, you're right, you're right. You're right. If we can take support here the second time. This might be over. Well, it's only 1.51 in the afternoon, right? So Above VWAP, so hopefully this thing will push really hard at the end of the day here. There it is on a one one day chart, day candles. Yeah, from the data I can get, it looks like there's a, you know, it would have increased today, but it uh, looks like there's a 9% uh, short float. So, it's pretty hard. So it seems to have liked that uh, VWAP hold. Still lots of time left on the clock here. We'll see how it reacts to these next couple of levels. This might sound a little crazy, <clears throat> but I hope it doesn't push too hard, too fast. You know, we have an hour and 15 minutes to go here, so... Yeah, I just hope it doesn't push too far, too fast. 
Ah, it's going to be vital that it breaks these levels. Ah, I stepped away from the computer for a minute. And do you see what happens? Oh, do you see how the reaction here at the top? And now it's ripped all the way back into our stop. Ah, we changed like 10, 12, 15% into... God damn it. Closed at $12.16. Just right now. Oh, it really ran down, didn't it? Ah, oh, you dirty dog. Look at when it came up to this high. It didn't even want to play with this high. Ah. Oh. I'm telling you, look, oh, it's so often, oh, man. Oh, that's super disappointing. Oh. Yeah, we trained, uh, uh, it's probably roughly a $600 winner if you had to pick the top right off the top there, but, I mean, there was a $500 bill there. We traded that for this stop out of $60, and this is how hard it can be. I'm, I'm still kind of floored. Um, I'm still kind of floored. Uh, if you like this stuff, <laughs> subscribe. We'll get one of these uh, sooner or later. I'll tell you that. I, I, <laughs> we should have taken that $500 bill, but I stepped away from the computer again, like I said. Um, God damn it. Uh, if you like this stuff, subscribe. Like it, thumbs up, comments, give me comments about it. Is it too long? Is it too short? Um, but this is always uh, in real time, every time. And as always, you know, we're still handing out those high fives for everyone. Those ones come free.